Hi, it's March 3rd, 2019. At least it is for the next three minutes. So uh, this will be running over into March 4th, 2019. Yeah. I uh, woke up kind of early. And I will be going back to bed. I'm not going to try to get through March 4th, 2019. Yeah, with only a few hours of sleep. Anyway. Um, my computer doesn't work anymore. Actually, it works. But um, there's something wrong with it that um, is keeping it from actually starting Windows 10. I don't know what. So I'm going to have to uh, try to reset it. Of course, I've already tried to reset it, and it won't reset. So I'm going to try messing with the advanced options in the resetting menu thing and see if that helps. If not, I'll just have to try to restore it to the factory defaults, which I really don't want to do because that will erase all of my files I have on it. So, um, let's get started. Yeah, it tries to auto repair it. And I get a blue screen with this menu. So, um, if I click continue, I just get this screen again. So, um, yeah, let's see what we can do about that. Uh, reset. There was a problem resetting your PC. No changes were made. Okay, so, um, that didn't work. Oh well, let's try Windows Recovery Environment. Nope. Okay. Advanced options. System restore. Nope. No restore points have been created. Okay, so we're trying startup repair now. And maybe this will fix it. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Well, that didn't work. That's just swell. Okay, well. Advanced options. I don't think I have a system recovery image. I don't know how to do that. I don't want to risk screwing it up even further. I don't know how to do that. Well... I 
I seem to only have one option left. Can you guess what that is? Well, it gave me the option to back up some of my files before it started. So uh, that's what I'm doing. I couldn't back up all of the ones that I wanted to because I couldn't find them. But, um,. At least it's letting me back up some. And apparently it's done. So, um... I guess we'll move on to the next step. Yeah, I'll um, just do all of this and... Get back to you when I've made a little more progress. I don't know if it's a problem with the Dell Inspiron 5680 or with Windows 10, but if this happens again, I uh, might just have to switch back to Windows 7 and see if that works any better even though support for it ends next year. But when that happens, I'll just switch to Windows 8. And, uh, well, when support for it ends, I don't know. I don't really want to have to use Windows 10 again. So I might have to try a totally different operating system. Maybe Linux or something. But I've always used Windows, so I have no idea how Linux works, and I'm not too keen on that idea. Maybe Windows 10 will actually work a little better by then. I don't know. I doubt it. Anyway, um, that's going to do it, so I'll go ahead and wrap this up, and I'll see you later. Bye.